Okay, in forging, we have initial jaw, initial billet is this the height equals to what? H O. Initial diameter equals to D O. Final height equals to H F, and final diameter equals to D F. The true strain for this one is defined as natural log of initial height that equals to what? H O divided by final height H F. Since no material is waste, our volume will remain constant. That equal to pi by four into D O square multiplied by H O equals to pi by four into D final square. Multiplied by H. If any of these dimensions is missing, then you can use this equation to find out the true strain. Sometimes they will ask you percentage change in diameter. So percentage change in diameter is simply given by D zero minus D F. D F is more. So this one is D F minus D zero divided by D zero multiplied by hundred. So using this, we can find out percentage change. And if you want to find out force, force is given by average stress multiplied by Final area, final area, because this force is maximum force. So normally this operation is required very large force. For this one, we have a drop hammer here, which was dropped through a height equals to capital H, and the weight of this hammer is mg. So initially it has a potential energy equals to what? Mgh. This was the initial potential energy, and this one is final potential energy that will be equals to zero with respect to this other datum. So change in potential energy will be equals to change in potential energy. Will be simply equals to P1 minus P2 is equals to m multiplied by g multiplied by so this much energy it will going to strike. Velocity does not matter. As far as this job is considered, this job has changed the distance equals to HO minus HF. So what we are doing is that we are applying the force F equal to rho bar into F through height equal to HO minus HF. So this one is simply change in delta energy. And this change in energy is also equals to what? Work done by first law of thermodynamics. And what is work done? Work done is defined as force multiplied by the distance change. That equals to H O minus. So these are the formulae that normally comes. Number one, number two. This is simple formula. Number three, and you can equate this one equals to what? M G H. So this one is number four formula. Suppose we have a diarrangement like this, and if you apply up. Force this one to this bar. Suppose the length of this bar is initially equals to L zero, and you do this operation, then the material will flow outward. If the material will flow outward, will the length of the bar will increase? Due to this, the final shape, final length of the bar will be like this. This operation is called as fillering. So this one is fillering operation, and the final length will become equals to L F. So this time the true strain is defined as L N of L F is more, so it is L F. Divided by L zero. This type of deformation is called as homogeneous deformation. The homogeneous deformation means without friction. So friction value will be equals to zero in this case. If the value of friction is not equals to zero, if the value of friction is present, then it will be called as inhomogeneous deformation. And in case of inhomogeneous deformation, you get a final shape like this. That effect is called as barreling effect. And when we have a barreling effect at the center. We have which friction? Sticking friction. At this one, we have sticking friction, and on this side, we have sliding friction. So when the mu will come in picture, you have to modify the formula for force. So force, considering the friction, is given by some factor k multiplied by sigma average multiplied by final area. So k value will be equals to one plus 0.4 times mu multiplied by final diameter divided by Final height, and when the value of mu is equal to zero, when the value of mu is equal to zero, in this case, what is the value of k? It simply equals to what? One. Mu is zero, so value of k equals to one. That is why the factor will not appear here. We have open die forging. The disc diameter is what? 200 mm. So initial diameter is d. Let's say d zero equals to 200 mm, and the initial height is what? 60 mm. Is compressed without any barreling effect. The final diameter of the disc is what? 400 mm. We want to find out true strain. True strain is given by L n initial height divided by final height. Final height we want to find out. If we are able to find out final height, we can solve this question. For this case, your volume is remain constant. So we have pi by 4 d o square into h o equal to Pi by four into d f square into h o. Your pi by four will get cancelled. D o square is two hundred square. H o is sixty. Diameter final is four hundred square. And height we don't know. Your height will come fifteen mm. 
then you put in this formula your true strain equal to 60 divided by 15 so ln of 4 answer is 1.386 a solid cylinder of diameter equals to what 100 mm so we have d0 equals to 100 mm initial height is h0 equal to 50 mm is force between two frictionless flat dies to a height of 25 mm so final height is 25 mm we want to know percentage change in diameter percentage change in diameter is final diameter minus initial diameter divided by initial diameter multiplied by 100 now to calculate the final diameter we will use the volume concept so we have pi by 4 do square into ho equals to pi by 4 into d final square into h final 100 square into 50 hf is 25 so we can find out diameter final 141.44 Put this value back and find out this. So, your answer is 41.4 percent. It increases or decreases? It increases. Positive sign indicates increases. At the true strain for a low carbon steel bar which is doubled in the length. So, suppose H0 was the initial length equal to H. So, H final is it equals to 2H? It is doubled. So, what is the true strain? Strain is simply ln of what? Now, this time it is a higher value. So, this will be equals to what? 2h divided by h. So, ln of 2. Point. Remember, the formula for epsilon, uh, epsilon true strain is always the higher value divided by lower value. And normally, your answer in all the cases will be by forging is negative. The negative strain is never written. It is always written as positive strain. So, always make sure that the numerator is higher than denominator. In a certain forging operation, we need 50 kilojoules of energy. So, we require delta energy equals to 50 kilojoules. This is basically force multiplied by delta H. What is delta H? Reduction in height. We require this much amount of energy, but it is suggested that to go for drop forging to reduce force applied. Weight in kilonewton of the drop hammer required. You want to find out weight in what? kilonewton of the drop hammer required when it is dropped from a height of equals to what? 2 meter. So, we will just equate this value equals to what? mgh. So, delta E equals to what? m into g into h. So, delta E is 50,000. The weight of drop hammer is 2000 and the height we want to find out. We want to find out mg and the height is given to you that equals to what? 2 meter. So, mg will be equals 25 kilonewton. A cylindrical billet of 100 mm diameter is forged from 50 mm to 40 mm. So, we have initial diameter D0 equals to 100 mm, initial height equals to 50 mm and is forged to 40 mm. The material has a constant flow stress of what? 80 mega Pascal. So, we have sigma average equal to 80 mega Pascal. We want to find out work of deformation. Work of deformation is given as force multiplied by delta H and he says that 10 kilonewton drop hammer is used to complete reduction in one blow. This time we want to find out height, but before this we must value know the value of delta H. So, delta H is known to us and to calculate force we required the average stress multiplied by final area. So, we must know final diameter. So, we equate this volume concept. So, we have pi by 4 do square into HO equal to pi by 4 df square multiplied by hf. So, do is 100 square of it, ho is 50, final diameter is not known to us, final height equals to 40 mm. So, final diameter will come out to be 111.8 mm force equals to average stress multiplied by final area. Average stress is 80 mega Pascal and final area is pi by 4 into df square that is 111. This answer will come in Newtons and this is a very large force is 785 around 400 Newton. Your answer is very close to this. So, work of deformation. The so work of deformation is force multiplied by delta H. We want unit is what? Newton meter whereas delta H available in mm. So, we will divide this quantity by 1000 mm to meter conversion. So, we have 785400. HO is this and HF is this. So, HO minus HF 50 minus 40 divided by 1000. So, this value is simply 7853 is Newton meter. And lastly, to find out the height of this, we equate the work done with the product of MGH where capital H is the height of drop hammer. So, this answer is 7854. The weight is given as 10 kilonewton is 10,000. This one is Newton meter, 
So height will also come in meter 0.7854 meters. We have cylindrical billet of this time equals to what? 150. Is forced to push from 100. HOV is 100 to final height of 70 mm. We have a average stress of 100 megapascal. We want to find out diameter at this time and the height of the drop hammer. So let's equate the volume first. Pi by 4 do square equal to pi by 4 d final square. Put the value. Either answer is 179 mm. So that is the first answer 179. Force equals to what? Stress multiplied by final area. Stress was given as 100. Final area is pi by 4 into d final square. 179 square. Are you getting this answer? Now don't write kilo newton. Nah? It will not get cancelled here. So what is W? W is this. W equals to work done. Okay, right. Work done equals to F into delta H. Divide by 1000 to get your answer in what? So, we have F equals to 2516500 minus 70 divided by 1000. 7549.5 Newton meter. So, we have 7549.5. Weight is 20,000 in Newtons. It's a 7549.5. 